me I could not speak for 30 seconds, and he's been speaking for five minutes. He's stolen a great deal of my thunder. And most of you know that I do not like my thunder stolen. <laughs> Let's see if I can't realize. I'm a rare and endangered species. Hello. A rare and endangered species. I'm a native ocean drive beach South Carolina homegrown boy. I learned to dance in 1959 at the Crescent Beach American Legion Hut right across from Possum Trot Road. We did a step dig, one, two, three, back step, and great dance in there. Graduated from Wampi Little River High School. Hello. The pad, Ocean Drive Pavilion, Sunny's Pavilion, Windy Hill Pavilion, and of course the Forks Drive in late at night. Mercy, mercy. I have chased Port O'Neill and Sandra Schwartz and Sandy Murphy a million miles around there. It ain't going to take me about another 30 minutes. Y'all calm down. Have a drink and calm down. <laughs> Off to Wicked College after I graduated, I, uh, I room with Dick Jim Dameron, and I terrorized a little guy from Newberry, South Carolina, little Tommy Cameron. Where was Tommy? <laughs> I kept, Tommy and I went to college together. He's a, he's a swell guy. I promise that. On to Charlotte, to B&G, the sellers. From there to Charleston, we went to the Merchant Seaman. I live with Les, Wesley and Ashley on Stocker Drive, and Wesley and I, we kind of ran that Cavalier Club of his. What a great time that was there. Married 1970. I've got three beautiful children. If I could get them to stand up, Bill, but well, he's standing up. <laughs> William, William hands up the third. I've got Julia Margaret, her Maggie. Stand up, Maggie. And where's my big My pretty wife, Julianne Smith. Stand up, Maggie. And I'm very proud of my family. It's very thankful for the support they've given me in this endeavor. Woo! Mercy. don't work sometimes when I start crying, but I, I cry. Here we go. Uh, 1996, I was the president of the Surf Golf Club here. Had a little ball-headed, beady-eyed guy that, that was a sous chef we hired, and he's a pretty nice guy, pretty good cook. You go to the, to the brunches there, and he'd talk about quail hunting. He'd talk about uh, dancing, he talked about all, uh, talk about everything. He said, would you like to go? Dancing one more time? So I, you know, I danced, I hadn't danced in 25 years. <coughs> I'm going to stop by the house. I didn't think you would. He did. That afternoon we would have a cocktail party. And here he comes. Greg Stegall, you beady eyed dope. <laughs> He asked me to go to the pavilion with him. I did. I didn't think he'd show up. But I went there and, uh, you know, the, the love of the dance was always there. It rekindled. My wife said, Greg, you did, in fact, recreate a monster. <laughs> I uh, probably would be remiss if I didn't tell you that I try to carry this band international. I've got my good friend Rodney Edge back there. Rodney and I have been going hunting for 40 years. Uh, we, some geriatrics have been going to Canada. This is our 25th year 
and it's a great trip. We ducked on up there. Uh, there's a little brothel. <coughs> I hope the preacher's not here. It's a God trip. The, uh, but it's a, it's a little, little bar and saloon in a 150 people town and a little nine shot deal there. And, and we stay up there and then the dogs sleep in the bed. They come down and eat off the table in the saloon downstairs. <laughs> Well, we've been there for eight or ten days, and um, I kind of, kind of want to dance a little bit. Got to pick it up higher. Thank you, Tom. I'll terrorize you some more before I die. <laughs> I asked this little old gal. I said uh, they had a little hip hop band in there. They were, they were doing some stuff. I said, honey, can I? Is there a possibility that I could? Uh, teach you how to shag, and a boyfriend got mad as hell and he threw back the head. I thought maybe you're just jealous. I didn't pay much attention to it. And they walked on out and came a little while later, a little black eyed gal came by there and I said, honey, I'd love to teach you how to shag. She looked me over and down and up and down a couple times. She said, I think I could teach you a thing or two about shagging, honey. <laughs> Well, it took me an hour, but I did finally get her to do a seven-step basic, pretty decent, and and uh, that's my that's my part for the for the for the, the international shag deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna mention one time how proud I am and how honored I am to be a part of this fraternity there. Uh, hell, hell of a crowd I'm I'm being inducted with. I would certainly say that. Uh, no, Molly, I can't do I can't see what I'm dressed, Molly. I'm not the Let's dance. Let's dance. The class of 2000, Sam Convex. The class of 2009 is the great class. Would y'all agree? Woo! I really think that I would take any one of them, Sam. To be the pick of the litter. But after that, I'm going to give you back the microphone. <laughs> Thank you, and I love you very much. I was afraid that he was going to give me laughing. Who are you dancing with, Bill? Little Carrie Hussey. Carrie Hussey, come on out here, baby. And then I think Sandra Schwartz Adams is going to break in, and then Monsoon. I once got to Warnbury,